Wednesday. Here we are. How's your hump day going? Can you believe it? I'm wearing a sweater. Get out of here. Because that's how cold it is and the heat isn't on in the apartment, which I know to most people sounds terrible, but to me it's heaven. I don't want any heat on. I just want to literally just be living in an igloo. I just want to be an icicle all the time. But an icicle that's like wrapped in like three layers of sweaters. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Let me see who's here. Lindsay Cadu, a very happy life. Oh, maybe she's not here. Um, Jerry Morrison, Bonnie Nomson, all the huge suspects. Anastasia Harrison, um, Denise Whitman, do 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 do. Yes. Lauren Boylis, I saw she's been feeling under the weather. I'm sending uh, good thoughts to Lauren. I know she said she had the flu, which sounds awful. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon. Um, <laughs> Ryan K is here bringing all the, all the sassafras. Um, mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Okay, Cece's here. So last time we did this, Jenny with a Y. Hi, friends. My name is Drunk. I'm Jenny. <laughs> Hi. So last time we did this, it was a bit of a um, situation because literally as, as I was about to go live, most of you already know this, but our ceiling just started flooding, like just water started just running on down. But don't worry, we're still alive. We haven't been suffocated by our ceiling. Randy's okay. He did fall on the tile. He's hanging in there. Um, we didn't have any anything like that happen tonight. So <laughs> things are looking up. Yeah. Uh, Oh, Ashley A is here. Yes, my girl. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We're doing Charlotte Tilbs, okay? I saw some, I don't know why I keep doing this. Why am I like, we're doing Charlotte. We're doing Sh Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Just, what am I doing? <laughs> when I have a collar, I feel the need to pop it, even though this can't be popped. Am I the only one? Um, yes, Cece, I'm wearing my own makeup line. And if you don't know what that reference is, that's because you're newer and you can't remember the time that someone came into a live stream when I was applying Charlotte Tilbury and literally thought I was Charlotte Tilbury. Literally thought I was Charlotte Tilbury in my 275 square foot <laughs> New York City apartment featuring my bazillion dollar makeup line that I send from, um, directly from my 275 square foot New York City apartment. Because I like to just, you know, when I made my money with this line, <clears throat> I just like to keep it rustic. You know what I mean? Like I don't, we don't need to move or get new things or anything like that. We'll, we're just gonna stay here, but I'll be making a billion dollars. I'm, I'm still Jenny. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. No matter where I go, I know where I came from. <sighs> okay. So thank you, Ariane. I am, I am humble. I am humble. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> forgot to put what I'm drinking in the description box. Oh my God. Let me add it. Jeez Louise. It's nothing exciting. I'm merely drinking a Tito's and lime LaCroix. Mmm. Tasty. So 
I also remembered you're you're welcome to to link my head wrap. I did it this time. Um Ryan K, girl, I popped my Tommy Tommy collars in college. I look like such a tool. One pic of Ron and I from 2005 when we started dating in college is still framed. Tommy collars like Tommy Hilfiger? Bahama? Okay, listen, Ryan, you're you're acting like we all know what a Tommy collar is. Okay, so let's back it up. <laughs> or maybe I just don't know. I'm out of the loop. Okay. <laughs> Max Craven is here. Currently tuning in at Columbus Circle whilst waiting for the train. Oh. Love Columbus Circle. One of my, truly one of my favorite places in New York City. <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger polos. Okay, understood. Understood. Ryan K just retracted a message. Oh God. Oh God. Yes, Shiri, the Charlotte Tilbury, I slipped on the wet floor from the leaking ceiling stars in my eyes to mesmerize collection. <laughs> and that's ex that's actually on brand for Charlotte Tilbury because everything has to have at least like seven words in it. That's going to be my next um, palette. How, let's let's see if I can keep this going long enough where someone comes and actually thinks I'm Charlotte Tilbury again. Do you think we can make it happen? Do you think we can make it happen? Hmm. Let's find out. That's the goal. That's 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 the goal exactly. Oh, I had to do the accent. Oh, I should have I should have practiced first. Hmm. I might have to like find something online and like just listen to it for a second and then I can get into it. Okay. So, right, we're doing a full face of Charlotte T Charlotte Tilbury darlings. New glowgasm lips. I I feel oftentimes when I try to do her I just end up doing Robin Leach. That's okay, right? That's fine. Um Wendy Horvath, oh God, you haven't started yet. Wendy, I know you're not new here. <laughs> I've got at least 20 more minutes to go before I actually apply anything. <laughs> oh, you're like, okay, good, okay. Um, okay, so a few things. First of all, I have to make sure I really get a, a great angle. So let's just, I feel good about this. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, great. So now we're done with that. Let's take a drink. Lori Abercrombie is here. Mm. Um, it is about like 30 degrees here. Oh, sweet PK just became a GJG. GJG in the house. Welcome, sweet PK. Welcome. Um, so... Okay, let's do the spielio. So basically, my name is Kate. If you don't know who I am, I'm sorry, my name is Charlotte Tilbury. My name is Charlotte Til Tilbury, darlings. I feel like I actually am need like a Corel DeVille like cigarette holder. My name is Charlotte Tilbury, darlings. Welcome. If you don't know, I currently reside in New York City in a busted 275 square foot apartment. It's actually a little more Ryan, or, um, Robin Leach. I, anyway. I just said I'm. I just said that. How did you miss it? I said I am Robin Leach. He's not paying attention. Anyway, <laughs> um. Sharon Cottigan, your neighbors must love you. Oh, I don't think anyone can hear me. Like, honest, don't get me started on my neighbors, okay? 
I'm kidding. I have, I have, what if they're watching? I have nice neighbors. They're really, I, they're the best. They're the best. No, they really, they really are. They're fine. They're fine. Um, so I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. So my name is Kate. My actual, my real name is Kate. I go by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. We, uh, drink things here. We put on makeup. We talk about whatever we want, basically. Sometimes I make fun of people who say stupid things and I roast them. And sometimes people don't like that. And to that I say, well, that's what I have to say to that. <laughs> I'm just going to dig in my nose with a, a Kleenex. Um, Ranji, every time feels like my first time here. Yes, that's what I'm going for. Uh, yes, Amanda, that's natural selection for your channel. Exactly, exactly. So if you're watching, if your eyeballs are on this, I would so love it if you could, oh, I got a notification, hold please. I'm trying to like keep my chin down more because when I watch myself back, sometimes I, I have some chins happening. So I feel like if I'm just like, if I bite my cheekbones or be, bite my cheeks and then do this the whole time. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, sorry, notification. Chantal Canard just sent a $20 Venmo for making me laugh and smile. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Chantal. Thank you. You beat Sherry Ford to it. You sure did. Um, okay, so, so if you're watching this, please give this a thumbs up. We don't have any thumbs downs right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where the trolls are. I'm frankly, I'm disappointed and I'm upset. Please someone thumbs this down just so I can feel normal again. Um, you Also, if you haven't and you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. Um, also, hit the notification bell because sometimes it works and then it will let you know anytime I'm going live. Okay, what else? What else? Oh yeah, you can always uh, send a super chat. We love a super chat. That's a way to donate to the channel. You can also uh, donate through Venmo and PayPal. You can also become a, a Good Job Gang member, which is, it's a bargain basement price of $4.99 a month, okay? What are you gonna get for $4.99 a month? Maybe a coffee at Starbucks. Probably that's gonna cost more. So you can do all those things or you can literally, <laughs> you can do none of those things. And I'm also fine with that too, because I'll, I'll never know. Like I can't find you. You know what I mean? Like I can't, I don't know who you are. Okay, Randy, Randy, my moderator, my boyfriend, the person I live in this palatial villa with has put my Venmo PayPal in the chat. Um, oh my God, how did, wait, are did you guys thumbs it down <laughs> or did six trolls just show up at one time? We'll never know. Um, Shiri, I'm so sorry I don't join. I'm currently supporting myself in two. Okay, let me just make something very clear. No one has to do anything, nor do you need to explain yourself. Like literally no one. No, don't even feel like you have to do that. This is only if you feel so inclined and you can. Okay. Okay. Stephanie Leslie, what would you say? Oh, this sounds like an SAT question. What would you say is the percentage of the general population who knows of the Charlotte Tilbury brand. I'm so makeup obsessed that I have zero perception of, I don't know. I mean, why are you asking me? I'm currently, I have this YouTube channel. I'm enabling people to buy things. I, <laughs> I, I have 
no idea. I know that I actually learned of Charlotte Tilbury when it first came out because her, her stuff was all over the um, subway. Like, um, what am I trying to say? The, the things you walk through, the turnstiles at Lexington and 59th Street when I would go to work had like Charlotte Tilbury like lipsticks all over them. I'm like, what is that? Like, what? who the hell is that? And then she just, I mean, blew up. And then she has literally, literally become, <laughs> yes, by, by her, I mean me. I'm going to interchange that. I, I have become my favorite makeup brand. No, but really, Charlotte Tilbury, when people say, I saw someone say it earlier. They're like, I've never had any impetus or any, you know, inclination to want to buy Charlotte Tilbury. And then to that, I say, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> because it's all I want to buy. Like, honestly, if I could choose one makeup brand that is my favorite makeup brand, point blank, it is Charlotte Tilbury. And it is currently the only makeup brand I own where I own one of every category of makeup product from, if that makes sense. Okay. I do feel like it is one of those brands, it is a luxury makeup brand where I'm very rarely disappointed. I can think of the things, I don't even know. Maybe I could think of, I'll think of something that disappointed me, but it's hard. Um, seeking Ashley, what's your favorite prop? Wow. Wow. What a question. What's your favorite pro uh, What's your favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury? Well, you know, we're going to work our way through about 20 of them. So. Okay. If I had to choose, honestly, it's the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, no, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I, I was about to do it and I can't. Um, okay, so a couple other things I wanted to mention. Oh, someone took away their thumbs down. What happens with that? Do you just accidentally, like, you, you've got, like, a fat thumb and you're just like, and then, like, you go back and you're like, oh, my God, and then you, and then you do the thumbs up or, like, what? I'd love to know because it happens on a daily basis. And I'm like, what happened there? Um, so I really, I want to point out to you guys this insane deal that's happening. You guys know how I feel about my Dr. Dennis Gross robot mask. Okay. I've talked about her a million times. I use her almost every single day and she is on sale right now and not just her, her friends are on sale with her. So let me just tell you about this. I, I already linked it. I, if you follow me on Instagram, I put it in my Instagram story because I'm like, everyone who was ever interested in this needs to know about it. This because you're never going to get a, like, it's not going to happen ever again. You're never going to get a better deal than this. Um, so this is, let me, let me refer to my own description box. Okay. She comes in a set at Nordstrom, which is what I linked. It is called the All is Bright Skin Care Kit. Okay, so in that, you get the robot mask, which by herself is $435. Okay, period. If you were to just, that's what I paid for her. I paid, I paid $435. I, I believe I did get a vitamin C serum with her at the time. So there was still a deal. But listen to this. Listen to this shot. You get the Dr. Dennis Gross robot mask, which is an LED mask. Wait, let me pull it up. I wish I could show you the picture of the kit because it's so pretty. It's a holiday. It's a holiday edition kit. So it's going to come and go. So you get her you get the, sorry, I'm belaboring this, a full-size ferulic and retinol brightening solution. A ferulic and retinol, a full-sized ferulic and retinol triple correction eye serum, which is my like holy grail eye cream eye serum right now. And five treatments of the Alpha Beta Extra Strength, Strength Daily Peel. But wait, I'm not even finished. I sound like an, inst uh, I sound like a, 
infomercial. On top of all that, okay, all of that is $600 value for $435, but wait, right now on Nordstrom, if you spend $300, you get $100 off. Oh, I checked it out. I put this shit in my cart to make sure it worked. So you're getting $600 worth of all that shit for $335 because you get an extra $100 off. It goes through the 11th of December. If you never had any intention of buying this mask and you're like, Kate, I can't afford it, like shut up. That's fine. I don't, great. I don't care. If you wanted the mask, you're an idiot if you don't get it right now and you should feel bad about it and you should punish yourself on the 12th when you didn't do it because it's never gonna get better. It's never gonna get any better than this ever again. Okay, so I linked that in the description box. Also, if you purchase it and you don't use my affiliate link, I will come and find you. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Back to the chat. Jackie Dumas. Oh, she used the Thank you, Jackie. Bougie 49, I have to go to the website right now. You better, it's linked in the description. Bougie, Bougie 49. It's linked right there for you. Okay. Um, I'm scrolling up. What did I miss? <laughs> Isabella Silva. Call in the next 20 minutes and we'll throw in as small as ShamWow for free. That's correct. Amanda, I don't know if Nordstrom has afterpay. I, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I wanted to mention. And also everything that I'm gonna put on my face, I'm gonna start doing it just in a second. Um, yes, yeah, Sarah Kleinsmith, welcome. So, okay, so everything I talk about, as always, is linked in the description box. Um, and if you're going to, almost everything is linked through Sephora. There are a couple items that were only available through Charlotte Tilbury's. Well, anyway, I, li I linked both if that was the case. Um, but Sephora, this is the last damn night of their sale. Okay, so that's the... I put, I put it all in the description box, but it's like, depending on if you're Rouge, you're VIB, you're an insider, if you spend $75, if you're Rouge, you get $25 off. If you're VIB, you get $20 off. If you're insider, you get $15 off. It's that sale, okay? So just saying. All right, we're gonna stop with the infomercial. We're gonna move on and we're gonna start putting stuff on Mafache. Also, let's take a moment for this. What should we name her or him? Whoever names him first or her first, that's what we're going with. Gwendolyn, okay. Thank you, Anastasia. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Anastasia won. Okay. Gwendolyn um, is going down, but she still, she still feels like she wants to be present a little bit. Okay, so first things first, I tried to use as many Charlotte Tilbury products as I possibly could. So, oh, getting a little warm now. Um, this is the, no, this is the only thing I have a sample of. Okay. So don't shade me and be like, oh, are you just using samples? No, I'm not. Just this. Um, this is the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. Blown out. Hold on a second. So we're going to use her first. Char Charlie, okay, Kate, I placed my order and, I and I'd like a rose pink ShamWow, please. Okay, I'll send it right out. 
No, first thing tomorrow morning. It's coming your way, Charlie. Oh my goodness, M M S S Ms. Ursula 8 ordered it as well, wow. Yes, listen guys, you're not gonna regret it, okay? It's the Benjamin buttoning. That's what we're all, we're doing it together. Oh, to whoever asked Nordstrom does a, fr oh. Charlie said um, Nordstrom does do a firm, which is the payment plan. So that's that's good to know. Huh. Hi, Autumn Kinsey. Okay. Now I just purchased my... Oh, Jennifer Halley got the raw mass too. Wow. <laughs> you guys don't waste any time. Okay, so this is... Am I gonna am I gonna make this statement? If I had to choose a favorite foundation across the damn board, it would be the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. That's like what I was actually gonna say. If I had to choose a favorite Charlotte Tilbury product, it would be this foundation. It's your skin, but better. It says your light dream skin foundation. No, that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. I'm disappointed. That wasn't enough words for Charlotte Tilbury. It's a uh, light coverage and a flawless looking finish. Okay, great. Okay, so I actually, um, this took me forever to get through also, by the way. I think I had this, my first one, for like a couple years. So I use the shade Too Fair. Beauty in the Frizz is here. Beauty in the Frizz. Guys, if you haven't checked out her channel, please check it out. Ashley A, did you get your husband to buy you the buy you the robot mask set? Jose better get on it. Bargain basement times. Lori Ambercrombie, does anyone have the Dr. Dennis Gross LED light and can say if it works? Lori, do you think I'm up here selling some snake oil? Is that what you think? Hey, everyone. Really let me know, though, because Kate... I'm not sure. I think Kate is just selling me a raw deal. Guys, it works, okay? Listen, I checked with Penn Smith Skin... I check with Penn Smith Skin Care before I buy everything. Like, literally everything. If she gives a go-ahead, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Bye! Um, LED is truly incredible. Like, again, I'm, <laughs> I'm no scientist and please don't ask me to explain the technology, but it is legit. It 100% works. And I'm going to use this. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. My mom is having a lot of pain, you know, like arthritic pain and stuff with her hands. And it's pretty debilitating. And I sent her um, an LED mitt from Sharper Image. And it is like, she's, I don't want to say she, I can't say she's pain free because that would just be like miraculous. But she, has ne she hasn't been able to make a fist. And I'm sorry if you've heard this before. People are like, yeah, we know the fist story. Thanks, Kate. Jeez. But it really is incredible. And she's able to have less pain and move her hands, which is, is actually pretty miraculous. So, I, oh, God damn it. Drop my sponge on the floor. LED is magic. Doesn't cure coronavirus though. It doesn't cure coronavirus. As much as Donald Trump would like it, how do you think it does? <laughs> 
don't listen to anyone who says that LED cures coronavirus because it 100% does not. Um, oh, Ashley A. Oh my God, Kate, thank you for sharing. I'm going to get my mother-in-law an LED thing for her arthritic knee. Okay, well, I will send you... I think I linked it in another live stream. I definitely did, but I will send you the link because, well, the mitt's not gonna work for her knee, but. <laughs> Ashley A, maybe they can make a knee one. I'm sure they have. Okay, great. Okay, it's back. Yeah. Sorry, guys, our internet is being skippy here. me oh sorry Lori. you tried asking me and i didn't see it sorry my mistake but you didn't see it so i asked the group i have the money but i'm 61 and just wondering if it does any Lori, yes it does <laughs> yes yes it does something <sighs> yes i here's the thing i would never in a million years talk about something that expensive if I was just like, yeah, I might do something. I don't know. Just why don't you just throw like a sensible $335 just in a black hole? It's, it's fine. Just give it a roll the dice. I would never, I would never do that. I would never do that. I just want you to know that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we've padded this in for a solid 10 minutes, so I think we're good. Lori Abercrombie, BRB, I'll fucking go get it. Well, okay then. I heard you loud and clear. I've never heard Lori Abercrombie swear before. I somehow feel like I, I feel, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm blushing. Lori, you know I love you. Uh, I'm just poking at you. Uh, okay, so now, damn it. Thunder See, these nails are getting too long. That's what's happening. Charlie, Lori, I recommend you watching Pensmith Skincare here on the YouTube and Instagram. Also, you're buying it from Nordstrom and they're very good about returning. Yeah, uh, 100%. Oh, yeah. If you, if something breaks, or you feel like it's not doing you any good, return that shit. Return it. Robin Spencer, I think she's concerned that at her age it might not be effective. Um, I don't think it I don't think it matters what your age is. Like I understand there's more work to be done as we get older, but there's it's it's you know, it's relative. So like obviously there is going to be improvement. Are you going to look like you're 25 at the end? No. Are you going to look better? Yes. Maybe like you're 55? Yeah. You know, but actually some of the pictures I've seen of the before and after are on women of a mature age. Okay. Well, I think we spent long enough on that. Now we're moving on to something that Michelle Wong made me buy. And I'm not mad about it. What is Jenny saying? What's Jenny saying? <laughs> you can return a half-eaten ham sandwich to Nordstrom. Good to know. Yeah, the thing about the mask that you definitely have to do is you definitely have to use it every day. If you want to see, like, the most results... Yes, yes, Ranji, youngish, youngish. 
Um, oh, Cece hates the word mature. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, I don't know what to say instead. Okay, so this is the, what is this? Let me pull it up in my description box. Sorry if the, um, it's a little bit fuzzy. The internet is kind of acting up here. Um, this is the Magic Vanish Color Corrector. This particular shade is one fair. If you want this shade, I linked it. You have to get it through Charlotte Tilbs and not through, through my website and not through Sephora. This is a very like, I can't believe I keep forgetting about this because honestly, it's perfect. It's so light. No cakey apple witch. Oh, Lori Abercrombie, I bought it. <laughs> well, I don't feel any pressure at all from Lori Abercrombie about this, this mask, none at all. I've never felt less pressure about any product ever than this one with Lori. No pressure. If I don't look like I'm goddamn 50 years old in three months, you'll be hearing from me, Charlotte, Kate, Charlotte. Ah, why am I not pulling this out more? Because it's stuck in the back. You know, when you can't see something and you're like, you completely forget you own it. That's what this is, but it's so good. I'm just realized you're saying cakey apple witch. This is Autumn Kinsey. Like she's apple, like she's apple witch this cakey. I kept hearing it as cakey apple witch. Totally. <laughs> Do I need to be high to understand this? Is that what, I'll be right back. What? <laughs> I, I understand, I understand. An apple witch, if you don't know, are the things that I made in kindergarten where you dehydrate an, app, an apple and you make them into witches for Halloween and you bring it home and it's an apple witch. And then your parents would be like, oh my God, that, I love that. And then they'd throw it in the trash as soon as they could. That's an apple witch. Cakey is just something I added because no one, one, you don't want to look like a dry apple witch and two, you don't want to be cakey. I combined the two to make it cakey apple witch. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Randy, if a witch come to me with some apple cake, I'm about to die. <laughs> That's not what's being said. There's no cakes. How, how do people not know what an apple, I just explained in kindergarten when you dehydrate an apple and make it into a witch for Halloween, that's an apple witch. What more needs to be said, Ryan K? <sighs> okay, Charlie, but we want cake. Well, I know, I'm sorry. Oh, Lisa Robertson, I know it's all about the Tilbs tonight, but girl, that gloss, that Glossier Cloud Paint though, I finally ordered it based on recommendation and I literally almost tossed everything else out. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. No, it's incredible. Listen, this is what I'm talking about. When I talk about something for three years straight, hey, Randy, is your, is your image of me blurry? No, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to, this is another product that I forgot about because it's in the damn back. Sherry Ford is here. Oh my God. Oh my God, she's here. She's here, everyone. Hold, please. 
Sherry Ford, sorry I'm late. Just got home from work. It's the busiest time of year for me. So now it's happy hour time with a big old glass of red wine, Kate and the GJG. I think of all of us as regulars as the GJG, whether you join or not. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's not, I, that's how I think of it too. Thank you, Sherry Ford. She sent a $75 Venmo as per usual. <sighs> what an angel, baby. What an angel. Okay. So this is the Pillow Talk. I used this once and never used it again. Forgot about it. The Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. Now this is what I'm talking about. Listen, listen to what this is called. This is ridiculous. The Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow Love and Light Lip and Cheek Glow in Color of Dreams. Char. Char, char. No, too many words. Too many words. I feel like I need to be high to understand that. Yeah, we do need to be high to understand that. Charlotte, come on now. Come back down to earth. All right, let me make sure this is presentable because I used it once and apparently I <laughs> made a total mess of it. Okay, so there's two different shades. This is called Color of Dreams. Sorry, it looks, I just wiped it off. So sorry, it looks like a total disaster, but. Ashley A, he sent a super chat. Sometimes you wanna go, sometimes you wanna go. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name and they're always glad you came. You wanna be where mm, yeah. troubles are all the same. Anyone never knows your name. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> I had to find I had to find the right starting pitch. That's always been a challenge of mine as a professional singer of someone who's been singing classically trained since I was 12. Ask me to sing something a cappella, and I will flip out about a start, starting pitch. Flip out. I'm like, I can't find it. What? It, what? Okay, I got it. <laughs> but once I got it, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who watched Cheers? We watched Cheers. Did you watch Cheers growing up, Randy? Really. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like some. There was one episode that I remember and I loved it, and it was where Norm got a job as a beer. Speak person. up. I don't you yell it. What? You have to speak louder. Oh. Um, there was one episode that I loved, and it was about Norm getting a job as a beer taster, and it was like his dream job. <laughs> but then he had to meet like the president or the CEO of the company at the end, and he just completely freaked out and blew it. Oh my God, Norm, that's sad. That sounds like a sad episode. It was really funny, actually. <laughs> Wait, hold the phone. Someone just said the mask kit is sold out. Are you serious? Hold on, let me refresh. Oh my God, did we just sell out the mask kit? Like we're basically famous, <laughs> but no one will ever know. <laughs> It's sold out. It is sold out. Good job, guys. Really, really good job. <laughs> Pro probably some other people bought it too in the world or like in the U. I don't know how it's where it's available, but at least in the US, like someone else bought it besides you. But still, I'm going to take full credit. Is that cool? <laughs> Taking credit. <laughs> really just have you guys to thank. Okay. That's a really, actually, I have to say that's really buildable and that's really pretty. It's giving you like a very subtle Aspen cheek. Oh no, Ashley, did you, oh no, it's so, they might restock it. They might restock it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just scrolling up to see what I missed. Oh no, Ashley, I, you know, I just have a feeling they've got some more somewhere. 
I've got, they've got it somewhere. Dr. Dennis Gross, he's going to run to the closet and pull some more out. <laughs> Dr. Dennis Gross is basically Santa Claus. And I'm Mrs. Claus. We're married. I'm also Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> what do we believe? Fake news. Okay, so... <laughs> What are we doing? What What's next? Okay, moving on. My lips are already parched just because I can't stop yammering. Mm. Mm. Oh, shoot. That's what I was going to do. Okay. So Lauren's telling me to have a drink. Okay. Anything you say, Lauren. Anything you say. Um, so the, the new, the newest thing from Charlotte Tilbury that I have is, oh, if you refresh it, is it back in stock? Some people are saying refresh it. No. No. Okay. So this is, I put it in the title and I almost forgot about this. This is the Glowgasm Lips. There's two different shades of this. This is the Jewelgasm. And it's basically... I mean, I want to eat it. It looks like a popsicle. Um, and it smells like it's so fruity, which I know might sound off-putting, but it's intoxicating. Like, I honestly want to go, hang, 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 hang. Like, it's so, oh, God. So we're going to put this on now because this isn't going to be the finished look. Because as much as I love this, this is a very subtle situation. Ring pop. Yes, that's what this, this is like. Push pop. Or a push pop. But no, but more like a ring pop because of the color, right? Push pop has. Or, damn, what? I thought there push. Was a like lipstick esque sort of popsicle situation. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't remember if it was called push pop. But do you remember what I'm talking about? Like you put your finger inside of it, your finger would get all sticky. No. That was a thing. Okay. Well, whatever. It's like a pop. A pop. It's like a pop. And. Basically, this works with the P, your pH, and it's supposed to look different on everyone. And I'll tell you, I put this on earlier today, and I, I really like, it stays. I took a shower, and I got out of the shower thinking it would be gone. It was still, my lips were like perfectly tinted. So if you're looking for something really natural, I'm going to pull this out again at some point, but what this is perfect for, in my opinion, is using this and then putting like a really beautiful um, lip gloss over it. This is giving me like Nicole Kidman and the undoing vibes. There's just one scene that I'm, obs well, she looks amazing in that show. This is one's and her hair is just like, pfft. and she sits down at the table with Donald Sutherland and his eyebrows are like this and her hair's like this. And her lips are so, she always looks like a Renaissance painting. Her lips are basically this color. I mean, the filler's killing it. Whoever is doing the filler is doing a, you, you look great, you're doing great. Um, and then her lips are so shiny and so like glittery and glistening and like just the light is just bouncing like off of her lips. And I was filled with rage. I was just like, <laughs> it's too pretty. I want to poke my eyes out. Okay. Thanks for letting me share that because it's been on my mind for a couple weeks now. <sighs> Lori Abercrombie, I declare this was Dr. Dennis Gross night and Charlotte Tilbury is just an afterthought. Whoa. Wow rude <laughs> just kidding um okay so i'm gonna keep this on whilst i do the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna amp it up with the lip later we're gonna do something else but i really do i really do like this if you're someone who's looking for something really natural that's gonna tint your lips i'm into it okay so now we're gonna move on to the powder <laughs> Claire Schoonover, Schoonover, could a doctor have a worse name? That's a good point. 
Dr. Dennis Gross just doubled down. He's like, listen, people are either going to buy my shit or not. If they're not going to buy it because of my name, fuck them. <laughs> I'm going with Dr. Dennis Gross. That's the end of that. Okay. Look at how far I've gotten. This is my second of these powders and I'm already hitting pan. Of course, this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Ashley A, if you don't love me for who I am, then you don't get the peel pads. I don't care. Dennis, correct. That would have been the note he, he wrote. Miriam Loudermilk just became a GJG. Welcome. Stephanie Rogers, what do you think Dr. Dennis Gross is doing at this exact moment? <laughs> at this exact moment. Guys, are we all, are we all high? Is that what's going on? I'm not mad about it. I'm entertained. Oh my God, Randy is still talking to people about the push pops. Somebody has to remember what this was. I, I can't be the only one. Well, Google it. Google it. Well, no, don't Google it because then you're not moderating. <laughs> oh, Ryan K said he knows what you're talking about. What's it called? What's it called, Ryan? Do you know? Oh, Emily, Emily Streeter says, Ryan, Randy, I know what you're talking about. People are, they cannot remember what it was called. I mean, people are saying it's a push pop and that's what I thought it was, but the push pops. No, push are pops like are like sh the sherbet, the, the, the push pops are like, you know, like the Flintstone ones, the Flintstones were, that were like the sherbet push pops. Those were, that's what push pops are to me. Yeah. It was, it was kind of a similar concept, just applied to smaller lollipops basically okay wow we're really getting in the weeds here okay um moving on well the sherberts were called push-ups okay okay <laughs> sorry the sherberts are called push-ups i think this looks like a ring pop but now we're still anyway whoa um Ari Ariane Fowler, I'd still rather talk about Push Pops than Toby Keith. I mean, was there ever a competition? Same, same. Okay, next we're going in with my favorite bronzer of all time. The, <laughs> the um, airbrush, airbrush bronzer. This is the shade medium. I always... It's burned on my brain to always tell you the shade of this because one time when I when I first did a live stream about the when this when this bronzer first came out, this woman lost her fucking mind and she was like, "Oh my god, this is enraging. You never said the shade. I'm filled with rage." And I was like, "Okay." Sorry. I'm sorry. So just so you know, this is the shade medium. It's the shade medium. It's medium. That's what the shade is. It's medium. <sighs> Miriam Loudermilk, also obsessed with your name. Is that even real? I am so glad I joined. I have enjoyed your live videos for a few months and recommendations. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you. <laughs> yes, your name is real. Wow. You really lucked out. Some people have to make that up to get a banging name like that. <laughs> 
Brian K. I do have Valium. I don't use it much except when Kate accused me of wrongfully trolling. We d I did that out of love. I did it out of love and it was a joke. Mostly. It was mostly a joke. With like a 5% of like, but, but don't you? No, I'm just kidding. Go get the Valium. So yeah, these powders, guys, these are it. I'm telling you right now, that powder and that bronzer is all you ever need. Autumn Kinsey, currently trying to remove busted lights from a pre-lit tree. Debilitating rage attacks right now. Y'all are the only thing keeping me, oh my God, I'm so sorry. That sounds terrible. Oh, that sounds awful. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this concealer color corrector situation on Gwendolyn. I forgot about Gwendolyn for a second. And then I'm gonna blend her out. I mean, we're not gonna cover her entirely because I just don't care. And also, I feel like anytime I try to cover a blemish entirely, it literally just becomes like this, it, well, it's a cakey apple witch situation. It becomes like this volcano of just like crusted foundation and powder and it's the worst. So we're just gonna let her live, okay? We, we tamped her down. We're gonna leave her be. All right. Now for two products that are not Charlotte Tilbury at all because the only thing I realize I don't own from Charlotte Tilbury are brow products. Does anyone own a brow product from her? Do I need them? These are, these are questions we need answered. Okay, so I'm using, um, once again, the ColourPop <laughs> brow pencil that's been out of stock for a million years. Oh, Lauren is saying the boy brow is much better, okay. Okay, then I probably won't be getting any brow products from her. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So last night we watched um, Mank, which is a movie that's on Netflix would have definitely been released in theaters and is total, it's like Oscar-y. Um, has anyone seen it? it it's, uh, it has Gary Oldman and, hi Natalia, Natalia Lavrova. Um, Gary Oldman and Amanda Seyfried and a bunch of other people you'll probably recognize, but I can't remember their names. Um, and it's about, what was his full name? What, Mankiewicz? Herman J. Mankiewicz. Herman J. Mankiewicz. He wrote uh, Citizen Kane. And listen, it's not a light, fluffy watch, okay? If you're looking for something mindless, definitely don't, don't watch that. <laughs> but 
If you're looking for something excellent, if you're looking for something else to love Gary Oldman in, if you're looking to like be blown away by Amanda Seyfried, if you're looking for 1930s Hollywood MGM nostalgia, but like realistic, if you're looking for something that's David Fincher, any of those things, Claire, Claire Sco Schoonover. Is this a makeup or a movie live? Claire, no need to choose, girl. No need to choose. What was that accent I just did? Um, you should, you should, you should watch, you should watch it. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. But like I said, it's very, um, You have to pay attention. You can't, you can't not pay attention. Um, I was so blown away by Amanda Seyfried, truly blown away. Um, so I'm just reading your comments here. Oh, it was a Mae West accent. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like I'm saying Mank, like M E N K, but it's M A N K because his last name was Mank Owitz. Anyway, you get it. You, if you go to Netflix, it'll come right up. <laughs> They're not gonna let you miss that shit. Wait, Shiri, we have one candidate for tonight's mascara incident. Oh, is there someone here already? I haven't even gotten there yet. Who is it? Oh, I know. Sorry, I understand. Yeah, exactly. Linda, I caught it over the weekend. Uh slow build up and agreed you must pay attention to all of the dialogue it's very very fast-paced dialogue and it actually rem it reminds me of like obviously it's set in the 1930s and one of my favorite movies which is social network is set not in the 1930s but it's very similar in the fact that the dialogue is very like it's just at a very clipped pace and there's uh they're sort of like on top of each other um Lisa Bland said, Kate, have you and Randy watched I'm the Pretty Thing That Lives in This House? Yes. Yes, I have. We have. Um, Ruth Wilson is a star from The Affair. Funny you should bring it up because I'm obsessed with Ruth Wilson. I'm currently watching the first season of The Affair, and I've seen I'm the Pretty Thing That Lives in This House twice. Wow, you really, really won the award for question asking tonight, Lisa. I love, I love that movie. It's very much in the vein of like Shirley Jackson horror, like that whole vibe. Okay. Wow. Moving on. Ryan K. Ha 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 ha. I hate Ruth Wilson. I'm not kidding. <coughs> wow. What a, what a insane random person to hate. That makes you sound terrible, Ryan. Like, ha, 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 Ruth is the one I hate. Why? What's wrong with you? I love her. She's like off center and like very different. She can't act. Oh my God, you're wrong. You're just wrong. When you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, you're wrong. Is it enraging when sometimes like I say something like that, but like you can't actually verbalize anything back? <laughs> you can only write. Like you're angry and you're like, I wanna vocalize and I wanna scream at Kate, but I can only silently type. <sighs> I can imagine that would be really, really upsetting for me. That would piss me off. 
If someone says something I like vehemently, vehemently, vehemently disagreed with, and then I couldn't actually say say it, I had to like just quietly type alone in my apartment. That would be very, very frustrating. Vehemently. Sorry, that's how I meant to say it. <sighs> okay, I think the brows are good. Putting the brow products away, moving on. Claire Schoonover, wow intense. Claire, what? <laughs> what? What's happening? Um, okay, moving on to eyes. This is always the part where I'm like, oh, God. I forgot to link this, whatever. But um, this is the, I'm almost out of it too, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Posh. Are we being intense? Oh. Claire, are you brand new? What's happening? <laughs> I should have known you were new when, when you were like, is this makeup or movies? Oh, girl. Oh, girl. We talk about everything we want to hear. And you never know what's gonna happen. It's all improv and sometimes makeup is boring. Oh, girl. Sorry. Oh, girl. I just felt like I need to, like, really get into that. I, need to, I, just, I could have done better. Claire, I showed up in your feed tonight. Well, welcome. Welcome, Biatch. Okay. Guys, I just want you to know that most of the time, any anymore when I'm singing, it's total nonsense. Like it's uh, this is like the least good singing I, I've done in probably 20 years. <laughs> just letting it go. No, I'm not going to sing that. OK, so I have two palettes here. Um, this is these were both sent to me by uh, Glamour and Goosebumps, a.k.a. Kelsey Steele Davis. Sorry, th she has three names and it's very, it's a lot. So this is the, the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. So I'm going to use these first three shades, which is the Day Look. This is the Night Look. And then I'm going to, she also sent me this, which is really pretty. Look at how pretty that is. The Dazzling Diamonds Dazzling Diamonds Luxury Palette of Pops, color coded eyeshadows. See, too many words. Too many words. Okay. Where everybody knows your name. And you're always glad you came. That's not how it goes, but I changed it. You want to be where you, couples are all the same. What are the words? You want to go where everyone knows your name. Name. Nerm. Okay, so now he doesn't know because he didn't watch Cheers. I, I know the theme song. What are the words? What are the words? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And, wait, and they're always, I can't sing it. He's way out of my head. And you're always glad you came. Um, but it's the next wait, part. Wait, shit, I lost it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Because it's nonsense. It doesn't, it's, no, it doesn't make any sense. Troubles are all the same. You want to go. No. But I don't know what leads up to troubles are all the same. 
you're all right. Well, we could just Google it. We're going to, I'll Google it because it's, you can't Google it because you'll lose the chat. Hold on. <sighs> Cheers. Lyrics. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name and they're always glad you came. You want to be, you want to be where you can see what? You want to be where you can see our, oh, our troubles are all the same. Okay, I understand. You want to be where you can see our troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Okay, that that's important because you can't hear it. The part that I've never understood is you want to you want to be where you can see. I always thought it was just troubles are all the same, but it's our troubles. See, that's lyrics. They're important. Song does in like 45 seconds what Billy Joel tried to do with the piano man. Wait, what? That song does in oh, yeah. 45 seconds what Billy Joel tried to do with the piano man. Wow. Are you shading Billy Joel? A little bit. Okay, well, we're going to get. I, hate the piano. I, I like Billy Joel, but I hate the piano man. Okay, well, now we're going to have more thumbs down, so. Admittedly, not necessarily my favorite Billy Joel song. One of my favorite Billy Joel songs that Rennie had never heard, New York State of Mind. I've heard that. No, I played it for you. No. I, I, I can't recognize it immediately. I haven't heard it as much as other Billy Joel songs, but I've heard it. You did not recognize it when it started playing. No, that's what I'm saying. I didn't recognize it immediately, but once the chorus came in, I knew it. Okay. All right. Wait, what? Ron G, who is Billy Joel? Wasn't he married to, oh, okay. Okay, he's joking, I understand. I was gonna have to make fun of him. Oh, no, I zoomed out too far. Can you sing the Family Ties theme song? I love Family Ties, but how did, see, I always have to get started. How did it go? Let me see. Did you watch Family Ties? Okay, that's a no. More than Cheers, I guess, but like it wasn't a staple. Family Ties lyrics. Oh, I'd have to hear it. It's it's too it's in the cobwebs of my brain. I'm trying to think what theme song like obviously the well the best theme song is the Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You have to do that. True, you're a pal and a coffin on. Ba ba ba, if you threw a party, he invited everyone you knew. You would see the biggest gift would be for me, and the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. She holds it out too long. Way too, like, it's like, wow, they really gave that vocalist some leeway. She holds that last note forever, and we're all here for it. We're like, yeah, we gotta hear the end of that. <laughs> we gotta hear the end of that. You're wrong, though. The best theme song is Reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow. What are people saying? WKRP. Oh, sorry. Ooh, that's before my time. Sorry. That really made me sound like a hateful millennial, didn't it? What's WKRP? Like, what is that? Like, what is that, though? Like, I've never heard of that. I did like reading Rainbow. How did it go? Right. 
It's in a book, reading rainbow, reading rainbow. It was kind of like psychedelic. Yeah, that's why it was the best. Yeah. Okay. We, we've literally gotten through one eyeshadow, but that's what happens when you sing theme songs and you put on eyeshadow. <laughs> you want to, oh, see, someone just came in late. BB Vancouver, you want to be where you can see people are all the same. Yes, cheers. Cheers. Um, I don't know, Mod. Facts of life, I don't, I can't. I mean, I know, I know facts of life, but I just can't. It's gotta be something ingrained, like, Charles in charge of our days and our nights. Scott Bale can't stand him. Charles in charge of our wrongs. And I took it up to, I, all right, I want, I want Charles in charge of me. Why though? Because he was hot? Like, I don't understand. Okay, moving on to the second <laughs> shadow. <laughs> wow, Amanda, this is my favorite live of all time. Wait, he was dating one of the kids on the show. Oh, Scott Baio? Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I can see that. You take the good, you take the bad, you take the more than there, you have the facts of life. The facts of life. Okay, that, that actually brought it back for me. Thank you. Oh, Kim McCall, she actually named the best one, the greatest American hero. That's the best I didn't want. I didn't watch that. The greatest. In oh right, right. I do know that, but I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it either, but that theme song slaps. <laughs> okay. Shiri, okay, I was the one way back in April that said I had a dream about you guys. This is what started it. People were yelling at you, sing this song, sing that. My dream was that you had a live stream. <laughs> wow, Shiri is getting in the weeds about her dreams. <laughs> Beauty in the Frizz. I stepped away to look at the Family Ties song, but it was too much, especially with the margarita. Yeah, I just couldn't like... I think I need to hear the beginning because it's just, there's not enough lyrics to lead me there. You know what I mean? It's a little generic. The only part that's memorable is the sha-la-la-la -la -la at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was in there. It said sha-la-la-la. -la -la. Um, okay, I'm going to put one more eyeshadow. No, this is what I'm going to do. Eyeshadow is just like, <laughs> this is why I enjoy one and done eyeshadows because I'm just like, are we done yet? Like, for God's sake, we're almost done. I'm just taking like a, a shade that's the color of my lid and I'm blending the shit out so we can call it a day. All of Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows blend out really beautifully to me. Um... but we're not trying to do anything dramatic here, okay? This is just a basic nude palette. And then I'm gonna take this shade, the, I mean, I don't know what they're called, but this shade right here, and I'm just gonna do my lower lash line. Oh, people, let me see. People. Why isn't Randy mic'd? Because we are simpletons. We are low tech, busted assholes. 
and he doesn't have a mic and I don't even know what that would entail. I don't like we're going to run it from the kitchen. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Oh, it's Kevin. Oh. What? It's our super? Uh, no, the, not super Kevin. Oh. Uh, one second. It's our, our neighbors, our neighbors here. You good. Um, if Sarah Kleinsmith is here, can she take over moderating for a second? Yeah, that's fine. If It's okay, I'll, I'll take over. Why is our neighbor here? What's happening? No, he's not like our neighbor neighbor. He lives like two floors down. <laughs> this doesn't ha this doesn't happen in New York. I just want you to know that. Okay. Um <laughs> No, we we love we love Kevin, but like what are you doing here right now? Don't worry, he he doesn't watch these. He'll never see it. Oh, wow. Well, we just went in on that, didn't we? I'm just trying to listen to what's happening. <laughs> Ashley is like, are you okay? I'm just blending this out while trying to figure out what's happening. Here's the deal with Kevin, okay? He's like the mayor of this building, okay? So he knows everything. He knows like nosy, love him, but knows everything. And like, he will give you the tea. Like he stands out on the corner a lot of days when the weather's nice. And he knows like literally everyone who lives in Harlem. I don't even know how that's possible, but he knows them all. I'm. Sh it sounds very dramatic, whatever's happening. Um, Mrs. Kravitz, is that from Three's Company? Wait, who's that? Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to pull out my um, Sharon Cottigan. Do you think he wanted a Dr. Gross mask and is mad you sold them out? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, bewitched. I'm sorry, bewitched. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, so this is the Dazzling Diamonds Luxury Palette of Pops. So I'm just gonna use one shade from this. I'm gonna use the lightest shade. It's really, really pretty. Look how pretty. What the hell is going on out there? No, if I go and find out and come back, Laura Lee, no, I don't think you understand. Like, I'll never come back. Like, you'll just be here by yourselves for like an, another hour. So that's, that's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> no, I can't go take a peek. I don't think you understand. <laughs> you don't understand the gravity of the situation. I won't be able to leave. No, he's not in the, he's not in the apartment. He's not in the apartment. He's outside the door. But does it, when you live in a space this small in an apartment building like this, does it even matter? <laughs> I'm just taking this up to the brow bone because why not? I have a nosy, nosy PC. I have a nosy ass neighbor too, and he's like a racist, gun toting Trump guy. Okay, well, that's terrible. Uh, that that's like the opposite of Kevin. Wow, it's like a really lengthy. I'm not surprised though. 
I don't know what, like, when I get into conversations with Kevin, do you, th like, this is almost unfair, because he doesn't even know that I'm talking to 231 people about him right now. <laughs> okay, I'm loving this glittery situation in this palette. Okay, now, I'm going to, this is a new Charlotte Tilbury product for me. This is an eye pencil. It's called Rock and Coal, which is very cheesy, I have to say. Um, the Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid, Liquid Eye Pencil in the shade Barbarella Brown, I'm here for that name. No one cares about the makeup, they just wanna know what's going on. Ooh, wow, that just goes right on. Damn. Oh, is Michelle Wong here? Michelle? <laughs> hey, Michelle, my neighbor, Kevin's at the door. We're trying to figure out what he's saying to Randy. We'll never get him back. Why is he, why'd he come at the door? It's gotta be something very important. Hold on, hold on, it's our food, hold on. <laughs> no, I got it, I got it. Okay, 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 wow, wow. Jesus. Oh my God. This is very, very filled with activity here. I'm better off red is here. You both came at the same time? It's sus suspicious. Yes, yes, Sarah, Randy's out talking to Kevin. The mayor's here. Just flicking out a little bit. I just feel like it's like almost 9 p.m. Like there's gotta be something very pressing. Okay, we're, they're talking about our favorite takeout place in Harlem. This is not important. This is not, <laughs> this is not pressing. T they're talking about, I heard the word rice bowl Okay. Kevin also, he goes fish on fishing trips and he'll literally like go out. I, th I think this isn't actually fully, I feel bad that I'm kind of talking about him just like right here, but it's, it's positive. Um, he goes and gets fresh fish and skins them on the street, which I think is probably some sort of a, I think you have to have a license for that, but he doesn't give a fuck. And he fries up the most delicious fried fish you ever did have. Just saying. He's a great cook. Kevin. Oh, our food's here. <laughs> Oh my God, what is even happening? What is even happening? I'm gonna do my waterline. Okay, I'm actually into this eyeliner, I have to say. What the hell just, what was that about? I'll tell you later. No, people wanna know. We've all been like, people are on pins and needs. Hang on, hang on. Okay, unless you can't tell me, then don't. No, 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 I can, I just gotta plug back in. Okay. 
No, you don't have to. It's if is it weird? I don't know. No, 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 it's not weird at all. Okay. Well, what um, what what was so pressing? Okay, so uh, you know all the the Christmas decorations, the tree that you know is normally down the lobby. The tree in the lobby. Okay, uh huh. Apparently, somebody stole all of that. So he's just looking for some donations to get <sighs> some new stuff. Someone stole. Yeah. The tr the Christmas tree decorations for the building. Well, the decorations and the tree, like the three hundred dollar tree. <sighs> Things are just great in twenty twenty here in in Harlem, New York City. Wow, wow, that's seriously fucked up. Yeah, yeah, it is. <sighs> Christmas shit. You know what? Fuck everyone. Honestly. Uh, like, honestly. <laughs> I feel like with the week I've had and the stuff that's happened, I can fully say, fuck everyone. I mean, not, not you guys. Probably not. But everyone. You know what I mean? You know. He's still out there. Can you hear him? He's talking to like one of our, is he talking to Olivia now? Um, I have a dad Dasha. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. I have a notification. Lisa Blancet, who is loving 50 and beyond on Instagram. I just sent, that's so sweet. She said Christmas tree fund, $20. That's very, Lisa, that's so sweet. Thank you. We will have a tree this year. <laughs> God, I mean, could we sound like more like Tiny Tim over here? How pathetic. Please, sir, I like a tray. What happened to our tray? Did you steal our tray? Why do I, why do I sound like I'm in the Beatles? What's happening? Okay. So now, um, I have to say, loving this pencil. <sighs> Whoo okay, now we're going to move on to the push-up lashes or the push-up mascara. CC, Shar Shar will fix everything. That's right. <laughs> Ms. Robbie Lou, the mayor is announcing that Christmas has been stolen. That's exactly what just happened. That's exactly it. Oh, Christmas dicks? Oh, yeah. What? Because I, yeah. What did, what did I say? Where'd that come from? Uh, oh, um, you accused Rankin Bass of being Christmas dicks. Oh, yeah. Rankin and Bass are Christmas dicks. Because they tried to sue Elf. That's right. That's right. That's what it is. Don't be a Christmas dick. Like Rankin and Bass or this these douches who stole our, our tray. Christina Krasny, could you imagine stealing the Christmas tree from Charlotte Tilbury's building? Well, that's exactly what's happening. Okay. How do people know who Olivia is? Did you just say that in the chat? No, you did. Oh, well, I don't remember that. Drunk. Are they talk? Was he talking to Olivia? That's what you were asking. No, I'm asking you. Was he talking to Olivia? I don't think so. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I literally don't remember telling you guys about Olivia. I'm sorry. Well, no, you were asking me on there if he was talking to Olivia. Oh, okay. Understood. 
I got a notification. Oh shoot, is it gonna come up on my, I hope so. It should. I think someone just sent a PayPal and I, oh, here it is, okay. Oh, Sharon, Shayla McNeil, Christmas tree. Thank you for the, <laughs> thank you. We really are pop, we really are poppers over here in New York City. Why do I sound like Moira from Schitt's Creek? <laughs> That's the opposite of what I'm going for. But actually, is it though? Actually, that maybe that is what I'm going for. We really are poppers, poppers here in New York City. Go get the babies. I can still hear Kevin, like down the hall. Okay, so if I didn't, did I say what this is? This is the Pillow Talk. This is the Pillow Talk mascara, which is one of my favorite current mascaras. That is a good question, Ryan K. How does one steal a full on like Christmas tree? Cause it's a big Christmas tree and the de decorations like. Everything's terrible. That's true. Someone is very crafty. Very crafty. Lori Abercrombie sent a, a Venmo for the most entertaining live yet and to the Christmas fund. Oh my goodness. Wow. Thank you so much, Lori. Also, I just have to say, we have nothing to do with all of the antics that have happened on these last two lives. And I feel like they're going to screw us over because <laughs> I can't promise that all the lives are going to have all this weird shit happen. Okay. Maybe it's someone that lives by the lobby. So they just dragged it to their apartment. Yeah, but like, Okay, I don't know. That is, that would really be something. Well, no, I think it was, it was stolen from wherever it was stored. So like somewhere in the basement. Oh, it was stored in the basement? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I can see that. If you like got, went down there at like 4 a.m. I mean, wow, that is really commitment. That's really commitment. Oh my gosh, the donations are roll, rolling on in. Holly Anderson. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk push-up mascara. I love how it goes on, but within an hour or two, it was smudged all over my lid. What do you do to prevent this? And I'm sorry about the tree. Um... Oh, wow. I have to say, I've never had that happen. Um, it sounds to me like you might, <clears throat> some people's lids are oilier than others. Um, I can't really speak to that, but are you wearing eyeshadow or like, if you don't wear eyeshadow, I would definitely powder your lid. And I, I can't imagine that happening, but I, I don't know. Thank you for the donation. Well, Lori says you should have had a Venmo too. What? Lori Abercrombie says you should have had a Venmo too. I th I just I just said it. I just said it. I just Lori Abercrombie for the for the most entertaining live yet into the Christmas tree fund. Oh, Is oh that... maybe that was at the same time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. Okay, so now we're done with mascara. How do we make it through with someone being a, without someone being a dick? There's still a hope. They could come back. Someone's gonna say something. Um, okay, now I'm going to do 
lips. Now I have to say, what do you guys think of this? Oh no, Ryan K, Mr. Clapback, where is it? Let me scroll up. Kate, turn your camera around so I can rule you out from taking the tree. <laughs> 5% of me thinks it's you. Wow. Ryan, Ryan has a vendetta now. <laughs> um, okay. It could have been me. It, this could be my master plan. So what do you guys think of this glowgasm? Because I'm kind of impressed how it stayed on. And I feel like I, if I had like a really shiny gloss over it, I'd definitely look like Nicole Kidman in The Undoing. All right, but we're gonna we're going to um, use a different lip product. I also got a couple of the uh, Matte Revolution lipsticks, and Ryan and Ron are gonna hate this because I think they hate red lipstick. But this is called Red Carpet Red. I also just loved how the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are shaped. They're just perfect. Oh, and they're so creamy. Ron just sighed. I'm sorry, Ron. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, diffuse it with my finger. like to diffuse the edges a little bit just so it's not so hard you know and um yeah there we go and then so i i bought that the on the black friday sale there was like a trio of matte revolution lipsticks and I got this and I got the Pillow Talk and then I got another shade that I'll use called, um, what is it called? Sour, oh, Lost Cherry, Lost Cherry. Okay, so now I'm going to take, this is my favorite, out of all the blushes I have, the Charlotte Tilbury blushes, this is still my favorite, this is Ecstasy. It's very like corally pinky. It just always, always looks beautiful. Ah, and it has like a little bit of shimmer to it. It's not matte. make sure I don't have any just powder my under eye again just to make sure um damn I love that blush it's so perfect
And then two more products. Um, this is going to be my, my primer, but then I realized, well, I have a primer from Charlotte Tilbury, but I do love this as a primer. I used that recently. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter, one of my favorite highlighting products that exists. Um, what brush was that that I used? Miriam is asking. This is a BK Beauty blush brush. And if you ever want BK Beauty, I have a code. It's in my description box that will get you, I believe, 10% off. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, well, it's flawless because it's called the Hollywood Flawless Filter. <laughs> um, and then I did invest in the large bottle of the Airbrush Flawless set Setting Spray. Guys, I'm telling you what, if you were looking for a setting spray, Stephanie Windsor is here. Welcome. Get this. It's replaced my Urban Decay All Nighter. I mean, that's great, too but um this really keeps your makeup on wait i haven't even used it yet hold on a second okay okay and that's the finished look so that's my full face of charlotte tilbs i do have like a couple um, Char Char products that I did not use, but I'll just incorporate them into another live stream. But I cannot say, oh, a notification. Hold on. It's taking a second to, to come into my email. Hold please. Huh? Where is it? Where is it? Damn it. Oh, here it is. Sabrina, Sabrina Paz, Paxad. Thanks for the last tonight. Oh, thank you for the Venmo, Sabrina. That's so sweet. Um, What's my favorite product? People are asking me. I mean, I have, I, I don't have like a number one favorite product. I could give you like my top five. <laughs> um, I really, it's really just, it, her complexion products I think are incredible. The Light Wonder and these damn, um, let me pull out the, the powder, the face powder, and then the, the bronzer in shade medium. No, whatever shade, whatever shade works for you. The powders are incredible. I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know, guys. The lipstick is, it's matte revolution, but it's creamy. It's not drying it's all good. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you that I don't have a number one product for you because it's all so good. Um, so anyway, I just want to thank you for joining me. This was another just crazy fun filled evening. And, um, yeah, actually sleeper hit something that I didn't think would really wow me this liner. I'm a big fan and I love that it's that espresso shade that is really flattering called Barbarella, Brun, uh, Barbara, Barbarella Brown. Anyway, guys, you can't go wrong with the Char Chars. You can't go wrong with Char Tibs. Tilbs. Char, Char Tibs. That's what we're going to call her now. Um, 
Thank you guys for joining me. Have, have, have already said that. Uh, if you could, before you leave, give this a thumbs up. Also, um, I guess that's it. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got. So I do these every uh, Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. So I'll see you next Wednesday. Hopefully more neighbors will come to the door. We'll sing more theme songs. It'll be absolutely amazing. And cheers till next time.